October of 1986 saw the end of Amarillo Livestock Video Auction as I knew it. I would imagine and hope that in 1987 I'll be taping cattle for a different company. But Amarillo Livestock Video left its mark by being the first company ever to use a communication satellite to sell cattle. This chapter is not about the death of a company, but the successful birth of a new marketing method. And I'm just glad I was able to be a part of business history. Nineteen did come, and I began work for a new satellite livestock video company called Superior Livestock Auction, a company that I had some input in help naming. Once again, my camera and I hit the road to take cattle all over the country. During 1987, Superior Livestock consigned more than 350,000 head of cattle to sell by communication satellite. The way it worked can be summed up in a special aired by ABC's Sunday Evening News. If you're familiar with a cow that jumped over the moon in the nursery rhyme, you may be surprised to know that something somewhere like that has come to the livestock business in Fort Worth, Texas. Whole herds of cattle are being uplinked and downlinked all around the country in the cleaned up business of cow trading. Charles Murphy reports. They say Fort Worth is the Texanest town in Texas. For years, it was a big cattle market, tough, rowdy, and smelly the cows and the cowboys. They called it Cowtown, and the name stuck. To a place in Texas called Cowtown. They still sell cows here, but tourism is bigger. Down at the corral, there's an okay gunfight every hour on the half hour. In the old days, the tourists would never have come here. The odor would have kept them away. But now you can have a cattle sale without the big smell. $99, Nearly 20,000 head of cows sold here in one day at Billy Bob's Honky Tonk. Where are the cows? They're on videotape. They never left the ranch. That makes it easier on the cows and the buyers. And people that are busy, especially people that are managing large feedlots, they can stay right at their feedlot and bid and buy from there today. All they got to do is downlink, right? That's right. All they have to do is downlink. It goes up to the satellite and down to anywhere in the USA. One of the downlinks is in Yuma, Colorado. 
While their wives played cards, J.R. Unger and his friends bought cows, bidding over the phone against buyers they couldn't even see in a high-stakes deal. Hit them. Buyer 151. And they enjoyed all the comforts of home. Sandy, bring me another beer. J.R. says you can tell a lot about cows from TV if you know cows. He's been buying them on TV for five years and loves the action. Yes! Try them one more time. How many can we feed to that? Oh, the lot he really wanted was from Cossie, Texas. He got them at his price. One by one, Jimmy Younger at Yuma. Thank you. J.R. spent $600,000 at this video auction. He won't see the cows in the flesh until this spring. An English tourist at Billy Bob's had this reaction. Amazing, amazing. In old Fort Worth, J.R. would have fit right in. But today, he didn't have to leave Colorado. Charles Murphy, ABC News, in Cowtown.